What's up people, Kocho Global here and welcome to the channel. Growing up, I've always wondered and asked how and why people were always spent. I never got answers to any of that. I never got answers to them. But I took it upon myself to read books. Books on relationships, books on marriage, books on sex, books on I mean basically everything just so that I could prepare myself or get myself ready for whatever may come. Should I ever be in a relationship? Ah, I'm giving a hint of what I want to talk about, is it? <laughs> but if you've ever been in my shoe where you've always wondered and asked how and why people were always paired that were people together and all of that, please comment below. I want to know how you came out of it or what happened to you i mean amidst all these thoughts and questions today i want to talk about relationships or basically relationship i've had questions thrown at me uh, several questions i mean i may come up with them along the way but one of the questions that came to me was what is relationship i'm going to share an honest thought an honest thought, personally, as a result of books that I have read, tapes I have listened to, and my view about relationship, biblically. I'm asking you the same question that was asked me. What is relationship? Or what is a relationship? To be honest and sincere, there cannot be there cannot be a definite and an accurate definition for relationship because when you look at the definition of it people might come up with the idea that they have their own perspective about how a relationship is or how a relationship should go that should go about so i'm going to try to share with you my honest thoughts about what I believe relationship is. So the question is, what is a relationship? Let me put it this way. A dictionary will give you a definition of what a relationship is. If you look at it closely, you would learn that there's something beyond what dictionary defines relationship to be. There's something beyond it. There's something that is beyond it is a question I am asking myself personally. Why do people pay? Why do people pay? Why, why do you see things in unison? Why do things being uh, like um, synchronization? Why do things synchronize? Why do things, why do things come together? That is really the the main question I'm asking myself when it comes to relationship. Why? Why do things join? Why do they join? For example, me doing a video like this, sharing with you on YouTube and you watching means that for you to chance on this video means that some way, somehow, we were meant to have our path crossed. Except you don't believe it. But here's what I've come to believe about relationship. There's a spiritual backing to relationship. I believe relationship is, is, a, is a spiritual thing. I believe relationship uh, is not, it's not just the mere part that we see. But it's a spiritual backing to it. I believe relationship is a force. It's a power. That is born out of love. And this power always seeks to unite. This power always seeks to put things together. This power always seeks to bind, to bond. So naturally, whether you like it or not, you will definitely bond or bind. Whether you like it or not, you will definitely join. Whether you like it or not, you will definitely pair. Here's what I've come to realize. Just when you are deciding that, no, I'm not pairing with anybody, check what happens. You realize that you end up pairing with somebody. It's a spiritual force that nobody can argue with. 
nobody can fight it. If you think you want to let somebody go, you meet somebody else who will be or who will replace that same person that you are thinking that person should go. Once again, relationship is a natural principle that affects all things, affects living and non-living things, whether you like it or not. It, it is just what it is. You can't argue it. I can't argue it. At the moment we want to argue it, things happened. Things just happened. That reminds me. We were brought up, we were meant to believe that there can be, there can be variety of what relationship is. That there can be variety of relationships. But I don't believe so. I believe relationship is just relationship. Many times we hear some things like family relationship, romantic relationship, this and that relationship. Relationship is just relationship. There's no variety to it. It is the approach, the way we dispense it, that probably makes it look like there is a family relationship. There is a romantic relationship and there is whichever relationship you see fit to you or for you. So relationship is just the word relationship. It doesn't have varieties to it. It doesn't have, I mean, different other things to it. But that's how we dispense it. Now, before I go, the word relationship, check it. It is two words. Put together relation and ship so basically ship is ship is a vehicle that travels that travels on a journey right and this ship that is the vehicle that travels on a journey is driven by a captain have you thought about that this captain is the person who first of all propounded relationship this captain is many times unknown but for 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 many people for a category of people that is christians we will see relationship to be driven by god or jesus christ that is why many times when we are getting into a relationship we would prefer first of all committing it into the hands of god or the hands of jesus to help us drive the relation that i mean that, that ship <laughs> so whichever relationship you might call it so we, we we first of all commit it into god's hands so he helps us drive it because in this ship there's going to be boisterous winds there's going to be tornadoes there's going to be things that would come that would want to toss this ship that would want to break it like shipwreck it the things that are going to come and all of that but by the help knowing knowledge and understanding and the power that you have and believe in that can help you and guide you and guard your ship that is what you have to go for now the word relation simply puts is knowing how to handle things one knowing how to handle people like how you regulate your day in and day out activities with people re re relation relation like to relate to relate with somebody how you relate with somebody that's what the word relation is and like i said a ship <laughs> so relation and ship so basically, there is the drive, there is the force that unites. And this force that unites involves human beings or any other thing that, that plays the role of a relationship, right? And this force brings two people together. This force is expecting these two people who have accepted to join to know how and be able to relate with a ship which is love so we being together is as a result 
of we deciding to relate with each other well to fulfill whichever reason or purpose we came together <laughs> wow this is what i've come to learn about relationship and i'm glad i'm sharing it with you so if you learned a thing or two from it hit me up in the comment section i want to know what you learned thanks for watching and peace out